this job, this whole reselling thing, I've been doing it for five or six years now, and it amazes me every day. The fact that you can walk into a thrift store, a store that's literally full of junk, inventory that was donated because the giver thought that it had no value, the fact that you can walk in and buy something and sell it online for a profit, and sometimes a hefty profit, is amazing to me. So that's what we're doing today. I'm gonna hit up a couple of thrift stores and see if I can find some stuff to sell online. I'll see you there. So I said this is where people bring their junk. Well, that's literally what I'm finding right now. Like I'm not finding anything of value, but they're actually restocking, so we may have some luck later. F1 team. Okay, so F1 is big money. Haas F1 team. It's like a windbreaker jacket. Got the logo on the back. Good condition. I'm gonna look that up. So there's none listed, but there's two Haas jacket teams that have sold. This is it right here, this rain jacket. It's only gonna be 575. This one sold for 7299. I think it's worth a shot. If you need a bite squad shirt, I got you covered. I mean seriously. That's that's this, this is the whole squad. I'm pretty sure. I mean, it just it keeps it keeps going. That's a lot of bite squad shirts. Jeez, all oh, that's bite squad. How cool is that? Headgear Classics. Size medium, got Smith's name on the back, and then the McDonald's All American. Is that LeBron James? I don't know. I have to do some research on these. So I can't really find any comps on either one of these jerseys. I mean, they're headgear classic. It's not like a famous brand or anything, but they're well made. So I may end up picking them up. I did find this comp for a uh, LeBron James jersey for it sold for four thousand dollars. Wish I could find that one. Must be the actual jersey. So here's something I never thought of. I'm actually on the opposite side of these jeans and I can actually see the labels a lot better. Like here's a pair of Kuji, they're definitely knockoff jeans. And I can just see the labels a lot better. Like here's two right here that I wouldn't have seen from the other side, new attacks. Probably not gonna pick those up because they're not really worth it, but learn something new for myself today. So here's something else that's kind of new for me been looking through women's clothes. Now, I'm not very familiar with a lot of women's brands, but you never know when you might find something you do recognize or something that may be put in the wrong spot. I've been looking for a few minutes now and haven't had much luck, but I mean, here's this cool thing. Maybe I'll get that for myself. Definitely not the best stuff I've ever had. Spent 15.25. I did end up getting the two jerseys and I know that they're probably gonna take a while to sell and they're probably not gonna go for too much, but they were too cool to leave behind. And then the F1 jacket, I really think that's gonna do well. If you see expensive, like that's an expensive sport. It costs a lot to get into and the fans spend a lot of money, just like golf. Certain golf brands go for some crazy money because it's this expensive. But if you see stuff like that, take the time and look it up. You never know. Next up is another Goodwill, and I actually forgot it's senior day, so it's a little more crowded than it normally would be. Seniors get a discount. Hey, so thank you very yes, much. Yes, sir. Oh, for you. <laughs> <laughs> you 
You hurt me too. Have a good one. You too. <laughs> So when I walked up to the shoe section, there was an employee doing a restock, and there must have been three or four people just picking up everything she was putting down. Well, I left and came back, and they didn't grab these. This is a pair of Rose Search boots. They always have really good luck with these. They always sell really fast, especially the green ones. So they're gonna be 850. I should get, I don't know, 40 or 54, maybe more. So pretty good, and don't be afraid of competition. They can't know everything. It's like I probably leave stuff behind every day. I don't typically pick up the clubhouse collection when it comes to master stuff, but I've never seen that logo before. Usually it's the bright yellow logo, and I thought maybe it was fake, but typically on the fake ones, they don't actually say masters on the buttons. So I'm gonna pick that up for 475. It's in good condition. It's a little, little linty, but I think it'll be worth picking up. So nothing fantastic, spent $13.25, got the row search boots. Like I said, they always sell really well for me, especially if you can find the green ones. Those sell super fast. And then the master shirt, I don't think it's fake. I hope it's not. If it is, I'll let you know. If I can find comps, I'll throw them on the screen. But not a great stop, but sometimes it's just like that. I've been looking for golf clubs all day. And this is about equivalent to the selection I found. I mean, it's just crappy. You'd think being in South Carolina, we'd be flush with golf clubs, but no. So here's something that sells really well for me. It's these Woolrich chamois or chamois shirts. L.O. Bean makes them too. They're like really thick flannel shirts. This one's only gonna be like $2. They usually sell pretty quick for me, so I'm gonna grab it. This Polo Ralph Lauren, it's like a bomber, members only style jacket. Got the corduroy collar, plaid lining, probably going to be a slow seller, but I think I can get $30, $40 for it. And it's half price, so got to grab it. So I was wrong, it wasn't half price. The half price was on the pants and shorts, but still only $9.72 for the polo jacket and the chamois, chamois shirt. How do you pronounce it? I, re I really would love to know. Leave me a comment down below and let me know. Made in Taiwan, vintage. So 10 bucks for 10 hats. And honestly, if you're looking for a quick return on your money, don't sell hats. They can take forever to sell, but they're bread and butter. I've got the inventory system, I've got the storage system, I've got all that already set up. So for me, it's not a big deal. I actually take them when I get home and I'll put them in a big bin. And then when that bin fills up, I'll spend half a day just listing all the hats at one time, getting it all done at once. But let me show you what I got. So I got the two Boeing hats. And remember I was talking earlier about expensive brands. Well, airplanes are pretty expensive. So airplane stuff actually sells pretty well. But these are actually brand new. They do have this like dust on them that's from the vintage hats, the foam on the inside of the vintage hats. But that'll blow right off with an air compressor. If you don't have an air compressor, use a can of compressed air. I use my air compressor all the time for cleaning hats and also cleaning golf bag that gets in those little nooks and crannies and blows all the dust out. I got two of the Boeing hats got this one just because it was new with tags and it's also waxed canvas i've never seen a waxed canvas hat national wild turkey federation does sell pretty well it'll take a while because it's specific to carolinas but i mean i don't know 15 20 bucks vintage natural light beer hat that one's probably my favorite fell pro i have no idea who that is but it's a vintage patch hat western auto prestone be pretty popular this one's pretty cool too i guess silver spur cool hat with a patch Vintage Montana hats, old stock, still got the little tag in it. This one, I'll just let you read it. And it's also a, what they call a pinwheel hat. It's two different colors. 
can't get it open. But you've got the dark blue, light blue, dark blue, and those can actually go for some crazy money. We'll see how this one does. I'm not real sure. It's going to be for a very specific person. And then the CSE hat. But yeah, $10 for all of those. I can sell one and get my money back, but it's not a quick flip by any stretch of the imagination. It's going to take a while. So I almost forgot. I actually did a video on how to sell hats on eBay, and it's pretty good if I do say so myself. But it tells you how to list, ship, photograph, and even some stuff to be on the lookout for. So go check it out. I'll put the link down in the description below. Obviously, I'm home now. I was supposed to go to a couple more thrift stores, but time caught up with me. But either way, it's still a pretty profitable trip. I mean, it still amazes me that you can walk into a thrift store and find stuff to sell online for a profit. But either way, hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to uh, do that thing up there, and we'll see you next time.